So what you can do instead is send voice memo. See, look, listen to this. You're not wrong though. That is a pretty vague question. Yo, what up, my young kings? It's your boy out here, back here with another video. Okay, so it's actually interesting. One of my Patreon supporters, he was trying to figure out like, yo, why does he always lose track of what he's saying in his conversation? Or he just like goes blank and never knows what to say. And not only over text, but also in person. So like, if you're watching this video, you're gonna learn exactly five methods which you can implement today so that it's the conversation is significantly much easier so you don't have to run out of things to say. But let's jump right into the video. So yo, if you guys are new to the channel, I like giving guys dating advice, how to be an overall attractive male, how to be a high value male, and how to get the girls of your dream. If you guys like this kind of content, bro, do me a favor right now and make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe because I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday and I don't miss a day. But let's jump right into this video, all right? In order to not run out of things to say, right, I want you guys to understand the concept of values. And throughout my channel, I try to talk about this as much as possible. So what is this concept of values? Every single person has core beliefs and every single person has core values. So realistically, the type of person you are, your true values never really change from the time you were younger to you grown up, okay? See, since I was younger, I've always been the type of guy who's a businessman, who always focused on getting that bread up, who always focused on my dating life, who always was worried about chasing girls, but I've always been that type of person. And I've always been that type of person who always was grinding for a goal, right? And if you think about it, right? Don't even think about yourself. Think about someone you know, right? Realistically, the person inside of them don't really change, but maybe their actions change, but their core tradition value traditional value does not change okay so i want you to understand right when you're dealing with other people right or dealing relationships you have to understand what values are okay so every single girl has core values and when you're having those conversations you want to start getting those conversation to conversations that are what she values okay so so when you get older right so as you get older, some girls, most of the time, most people spend 40 hours a week at their job or 20 hours a week at a job. That is a long time. So most of the time, if it's a girl, most girls try and go into career paths which they really value, okay? Most girls try to do things which they really value, like the activities after school. She's a cheerleader after school. That's what she values. If she's a social worker, she values helping people, right? And you wanna gear the conversation towards what her values are. Make her talk about those values because no one, you can always talk for days and days and days and days about your values. Like, how was I able to make 400 videos about how to text girls, how to talk to girls? Because I truly value social interaction. I truly value relationships. Relationships. I truly value man and female dynamics, okay? So you have to figure out what she values, okay? And here's an example. You know me. I always like to throw in some text because, like, if I don't throw in a text, someone's going to be a comment like, Bitch, oh, you didn't throw in no text messages. <laughs> but, yo, so let me pull out my thought device, all right? And so the first text, like, right here, you guys see, she asks, did you smash the like button? Bro, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Just do it, do it, smash it, destroy it. It helps the channel out. But make sure to smash that button, right? Here's a simple conversation. You guys see, see a lot of my comment, uh, see a lot of conversation. If you talk about girls' values, that's when you start seeing, instead of sending her dry text, instead of saying, okay, fine, just do it, blah, blah, blah. Just having them one word text, right? When you start talking about her values, she starts engaging a lot. So you guys see, she says, so normally today I'm working from home for one of my jobs because of snow. For the other job, I had to cancel my session with my clients, okay? She loves talking about work. As you can see, she has two jobs, so she's a workaholic. So that's her core value, working, doing something she loves, and getting bread, and being productive, okay? She's a successful woman, okay? So what I say, wow, two jobs, you're getting that back, both are social work. So I know she's a social work major, so that's why I'm getting the conversation towards that, right? Because that's one of her values, because in order to be a social work major, you have to generally enjoy helping people, okay? And she says, they're actually, they aren't actually, I'm not in my field of work yet. So I'm a manager at a child development gymnast center and I'm a behavior technician for autistic, aut autistic children. 
I am hoping to be working in my field around this time next year since I'm leaving my job, okay? And then I just keep on asking her questions about what she value because she works a lot, so she has to value work or money some type of way, okay? So I said, is next year when you graduate, do you like your jobs, okay? And then I'm seeing how she feels about them, okay? So I, she says, I have two more years until I graduate from grad school part-time due to COVID. I like, I like the job. I've been at my job, I'm a manager, at, since I was 18 years old. I, I'm leaving in the next couple of weeks due to wanting to go into my career path. Okay, so you guys see that? You gotta gear the conversation to what she's interested in, bro. So sit down. What is the girl you talking about interested in? Is she interested in pineapples on pizza? Is she interested in Starbucks? stuff that are relevant to her do you see in all her photos she posts bodybuilding photos is she is she lifting now is she trying to get her slim what does she post about is she really into the kardashian bro is she really into a reality tv show and when you actually calibrate and try to get to know a girl this is where you figure this out okay let's jump into my next point next you have to guide the conversation right okay when you're texting a girl right you guide the conversation into topics that you are also interested in because when you're interested in the topic, you will be able to talk more. So if you guys sell the context, right? She's talking about social work and then I'm trying to guide it into career paths, right? So guide the conversation into it, okay? Like, hey, maybe she's talking about social work, right? But what you're really interested in is talking about how you grew up in the hood. So maybe you start talking about social work and ask like, yo, what type of kids do you work with, okay? Do you work with kids in the hood? Okay, oh yeah, I grew up in the hood, okay? So like, get a conversation into topics that you're interested in and you want to help her out, right? Because hey, you are the man. The woman can give you the context and you want them to talk the most, right? In my last video, um, in my last video, I talked about how to never run out of things to say, right? But this was just general conversation. Now I'm talking about how to not run out of things to say over text, right? And in that video, I talked about the concept of sales, right? In sales, you want the other person to do most of the talking, right? You want them to eventually convince their self that they're going to buy the product, right? You want someone to buy a Lamborghini, right? You're a salesman. You're going to start asking the person like, oh, so how would you feel in that Lamborghini? Yeah, why Why do you think you'd get that? Oh, is it because it's going to get you all the girls? Okay, or is it because everyone's going to think you flash, you fly? And they're going to start talking convincing, right? So I want you guys in this tech conversation too, the same concept. I want you guys to start texting these girls, but I want you guys to start asking questions and getting the conversation towards something that you want to talk about, that you have an interest in, that you're very knowledgeable about, right? But I also want you guys to focus on letting the girl talk more than you do, okay? I know, bro. I know you have a lot to say, bro. I know you have interesting conversation. I know you're the man, right? But let them do the talking because I'm going to be real with you. It's hard to say, right? I know you're probably an interesting person, but they don't want to hear about you that much, bro. They just want to know what you do for a living. They just want to know what your future is or what your goal and ambition is. That's all they really care about. And then they want to do all the talking, bro, <laughs> okay? Then next, I want you guys to focus on switching up the conversation, right? Too many guys want to stick on text message, right? And then the girl will be completely dry, but they want to continue to text her. Like, hey, if it doesn't work, why you keep on trying it? Why don't you switch it up? Why don't you FaceTime her? Why everyone's so scared to FaceTime a girl, bro? You can simply look at, look at my text message, right? I'm not even captain. Everything I tell you guys to do, I'm doing it in my own dating life. I'm not one of them guys who just think it sounds good to say you should FaceTime the girl. I actually do it. She's talking about stuff, all right? I saw a conversation was dry. She says, of course, they're my faves. I said, really? At least we're on the same page about that, okay? And I said, we should FaceTime one day when you're free, okay? And she said, yeah, we definitely should. So I'm asking when are you using for you? She says this evening, okay? And that's when you pick up the phone and call her this evening, okay? If you're scared to FaceTime her, bro, and I said scared, because I want you guys, I want you to feel like you're a little punk for being scared, okay? <laughs> okay? You can send and I said scared because I want you guys to feel like a little punk for being scared, okay? Because you be you should be able to FaceTime these girls, okay? So what you can do instead is send voice memo. See, look, listen to this. You're not wrong, though. That is a pretty vague question, and I also don't like it in interviews, too, because you can go anywhere with that. But anything that you think is important to tell me, um, we can start basic. What is your favorite color? Maybe what you do for work, since you know what I do for work. 
um, maybe career aspirations or if you're already in your career. I don't know, anything like that. So you should start sending voice memos and voice audio so you have good productive conversation so she can actually hear your voice and it makes for a better interaction. So you guys like this, make sure to do that or you can send her a Snapchat of you. See, look, hey, I can send a Snapchat of myself recording this video and start as a conversation. Now she's gonna ask, what are you recording? What's the topic of your video? Now I can talk about, hey, my top of my video is how to get a beautiful girl like you. It's like, nah, don't validate them, okay? Or I can talk about, hey, why don't you come shoot a video with me one day, okay? Or why don't you come watch me shoot a video, or give me some ideas. So those are good ways. Now, now I'm starting to switch up the conversation into a form that she can hang out with me, okay? And then lastly, bro, you wanna ask her to hang out, bro. Like, why are you always so worried about texting her, bro? Why? Why Why is texting such an unknown thing? Why does everyone want to text, text, text? Why don't people just want to hang out? That's why I don't understand about, like, Gen Z, Gen, it was a Gen Z, Gen X, millennials, bro. See, at a certain age, you have to hang out with a girl because attraction is built when you actually hang out with her, okay? Another thing I do a lot in order to not run out of things to say is having multiple conversations at one time, right? So the way you do this, hey, you see that a girl is typing stuff, right? And she asks you different questions, different topics. Ask questions on every single topic, right? And have like one or two conversations going at the same time. Hey, this is not really a technique and it can get really messy really fast. But if the girl really likes to talk a lot, hey, if you start asking different questions, different topics at the same time, it will make a way where she'll be more responsive and type way more, okay? So that's a way to not really run out of things to say. It's kind of a confusing topic, but if you guys understand, like, tell me. If you guys don't understand, I will make a separate video. So leave it in a comment if you guys understand or don't. But I want you guys to focus on have. I don't want you to really focus on it, but I want you guys to just have in the back of your head. If she brings up two different converse, conversations or answer both your questions about different topics, keep the conversation going this way. And it'll make it so you don't run out of things to say. And then lastly, you want to find women who are interested in you, okay? A lot of the problems with texting, right? A lot of the problems, like guys who come to my channel to watch my channel want to know how to text a girl. Well, let's see, it's a girl that they're not really that interested in. It's a girl that's really not that interested in them, right? And they want to know how to spark up the conversation in order to make her interested over text, right? And the thing is, most guys will be better off if they just focused on the girls that were actually interested in them, okay? Like, hey, like if you're an NBA player, right? Like you just want to go to a team who actually wants you, right? You don't want to get bounced around, bounced around, bounced around, bounced around, okay? You want a team who, who, who's going to actually want you. Isaiah Thomas, right? Isaiah Thomas is a good player, right? But at a certain point, he was tired of just being traded, traded, traded. He just wanted a team that actually wanted him, okay? So you just it's better off just finding a girl who actually wanted you where you don't have to constantly run game. We don't have to constantly figure out how to make the conversation interesting. We don't have to constantly like be like back and forth, worry about she's gonna be dry, she's gonna flick on me. Just find women who are actually interested in you, right? And those are the girls that are gonna be giving you choosing signals, okay? So yo, bro, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure to check out my Patreon. My Patreon is where I post exclusive content that I don't post on YouTube. And you guys can ask me some questions in my Patreon, okay? And you guys have video requests, you guys can ask me on Patreon. And also, make sure to check out The Recipe. The Recipe is my fundamental program where I teach you how to go from that beta male or how to get that girl of a dream, how to approach, how to become that alpha male, how to be that confident guy who gets women no matter what situation is. So you guys like that kind of content, make sure to check out The Recipe and check out my Patreon. But yo guys, I freaking love you. You guys like this kind of content. Do me a favor right now and make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe because I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday and I don't miss a day. But yo guys, I'm out.